Hey everyone, good morning and good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining in today team. So welcome to the Edureka masterclass and as a part of today's session, we'll see how Tableau can be used for performing the data science. So the agenda of today's session goes like this. So we'll begin by understanding about data visualization and why we actually have to use this Tableau and then we'll understand what exactly is this Tableau, what are its key functionalities and we'll have a short introduction to data science and how it can help us in solving the problem and we'll have a hands-on session. So in my hands-on session, I already have a workbook prepared which contains all the dashboards which we can do it with the help of Tableau. So I'll show you the same and along with that, I'll also share you the installation steps as well as uh, like which will help you to imitate what I'm doing over here in my screen. So I'll share you the steps as how you can download the Tableau public which is a free version from Tableau and using the Tableau public you can actually perform the visualization on your own. So this is the agenda of today's session. So let's get started and let's start by understanding about data visualization. So visualization it's actually going to allow us to get the visual access to huge documents that we might have. So just imagine this guys I'm just imagine that you have a sales record and imagine you're working as a business analyst as in your uh, Amazon company. Now if you're working in sales department like uh, each and every time the transaction will goes on each and every second multiple transactions will be recorded and as a business analyst or as a data scientist. So whenever you have been given with such huge volumes of data you will not be able to derive insight from the data by just looking at this millions of rows that is with you. So it's not humanly possible. So in order to derive the insight you'll have to make use of various mathematical function that is available. Let's assume if you're using Excel you'll have to make use of uh, various functions that is available in Excel and try to understand as okay which product category is highest uh, till date or, or on this current day and which product category we have we are seeing a limited demand and for which product category we see an issue with in the inventory. So all this information you'll not be able to derive it in an easier fashion. You'll have to do some lot of manual work in order to understand what exactly is going on with this structure data. And even if you try to summarize something by saying it as okay the mean is this that is the average of a sale of a particular product category is this and the standard deviation is this or a variance is this. So in these scenarios whenever you're representing this mean and standard deviation if you simply describe about the data it will not give us the overall information about the trend that is happening over there. If you create the visualization then you'll be able to understand the data in a much better fashion. You'll be able to derive the meaningful insights from the given data because as a human we actually prefer to see the data through our eyes and we would like to get more understanding on the data on the same. So visualization is a main key when it comes to explaining what exactly is happening and that is the reason even when you're watching sports in TV whether it is cricket or football. So they'll show whatever the information they want to show to the audience in the format of visualization. So during a cricket match let's say a 2020 match. So you know uh, like each and every second matter for their ad revenue. Now in that time as well they'll be showing you the visualization for just two to three seconds and by seeing that visualization the audience is going to get the complete information as what is happening right now in the current match. For example this is a score of a team A. Okay so maybe at the end of 20 overs they have scored 225 runs. Okay and uh, the sh dotted region refers to the number of wickets uh, that has been dropped till date okay till that particular over this is the, this is what this dot would represent okay this is team a now the team b is chasing the team a now i'm going to draw uh, the graph for team b now let's say this is the status till 8 over and now these are the dots it would represent now by simply seeing this graph so we will be able to understand much more about just seeing the just seeing a table. So by seeing this graph one one who is seeing the graph he'll get lot of information from this graph itself. So one thing that anyone can observe is like team B has scored more number of runs compared to team A 
by the status of eighth over that means the chances of winning the team b is very high but the downside which we are also observing over here is team b has lost five wickets whereas team a, team a has lost only two wickets till the eighth over so this is the information that an audience who is seeing this graph can able to derive it by just simply looking into this uh, figure for just few seconds so that's the power of visualization guys so a well designed data graphics are actually the are actually the simplest at the same time it's the most powerful one which we could see over here in this example as well now to give you an another example of power of data visualization let's consider this data set so this data set is actually called as ascom's quartet data set now if you look into this data set i have four different data set data set 1 2 3 and 4 i have four individual data sets and if you look into the description of this data set so while describing i have performed the sum i believe yeah i think this represents the sum okay this represents the mean and i believe this represents my standard deviation so if you look into this data set the i believe the sum yeah the sum mean and standard deviation are all the same when i'm describing this data you can verify as well team see 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus just do the addition you'll get the 99 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 8 tens are 80 80 plus 19 is 99 so in the same way if you do the addition this is how what you are going to get so here if i just represent the data in a tabular format which we are comfortable with and try to describe the data about its central tendency that is with the help of mean and how far it is from the mean by with the help of standard deviation or simply just performing the sum i could see that all these values are completely similar see this x x x from four different data sets are similar and y y y from four different data sets are similar now if i simply use this data and create it as a simple description like this and if i make an assumption that okay all these four data sets are similar then we'll be wrong the reason because if i go ahead and create a scatter plot for each of this data set that have been given with so we can clearly see that these data that we have over here see these way data are completely the way it is conveying the information it's completely different so here this is the visualization of my data set one and here i can clearly observe that there is some kind of positive correlation between two features x1 and y1 and here it's not a linear relationship there is some kind of curve is present over here in establishing the relationship between x2 and y2 that is x and y in case of data set 3 so i am having an outlier so this data point that i have it is an outlier in a given data outlier is nothing but a data point which do not follow a general pattern in a given data set so that's called as an outlier and here in this example this is actually an outlier and the same concept applicable for this data for the set 4 as well so we could see that all the data points are having the value as 8 and this seems to be an outlier so this outlier detection we were unable to do it by simply representing the data in a tabular format so this is an example to show you the power of data visualization by creating the data visualization so i'll be able to better understand what exactly that is happening in a given data I'll be able to derive the insight and most importantly, I'll be able to derive the insight in a much more faster fashion compared to analyzing the data in a traditional with the help of normal tabular format. Okay, so by creating the visualization, we'll be able to perform better decision making, better sense of risk. So if I'm taking a risk in my business, I'll have a better sense as what is the amount of risk that I'm currently taking and i'll be able to build better customer relationship because i'll be able to identify the problem at a earlier stage itself with the help of visualization so i can address the same so it will help me to take a strategic decision for example if a particular category is not going well in my current business how i can think about it and decide as whether i should remove that particular category from my entire business so that i can focus on the high revenue yielding points and obviously it will help me to achieve better financial performance because 
I'll be able to identify the problem at an earlier stage. I'll be able to satisfy my customers and it will help me to take a strategic decision which in turn helps me to achieve better financial outcome. Okay, so here we have the scope of visual analytic visual analytics. So we have geospatial analytic analytics. So where we can use about like geospatial data using latitude and longitude we can learn to find the interaction between the data points that I have and if I try I can try to perform the information analytics. So these are the various scopes that we have when it comes to visual analytics. One of the common process that we are going to do whenever we want to create the visualization is obviously when we talk about data so data will not be present at a single source i'll be having a data in multiple source if i take an enterprise as an example so they will be storing some amount of data in database it could be one among their database which is present in the data center which is in-house data center or they might have stored the data in their cloud or they might have they might be storing the data in an external file which they will be updating in a weekly basis so they will be having a multiple data sources so they are going to integrate these multiple data sources and once they integrate multiple data sources into a single uh, single data will begin by doing the analysis so we'll try to analyze as how many number of columns that we have and what kind of column is that information is going to tell me i mean whether that column is a discrete column where it contains a categorical data or whether i whether my column contains a continuous value that is the real numbers so on the basis of all these things analysis i'm going to create the matching visualization for example if i have two columns of data that is sales as well as the number of items sold per day or a profit versus number of items sold per day so here in this scenario both these data points are continuous in nature so what i can do since both of the data points are continuous in nature i can try to create a scatter plot and by creating a scatter plot i'll be able to create uh, i'll be able to find the relationship between sales and the profit that i'm going to achieve on a specific day or if i'm dealing with categorical data in such scenarios I'll try to view the total number of counts that I have for each category in a specific column. So for that I'll make use of bar chart. So on the basis of type of data that we have we are going to create the matching visualization and we can also create a box plot so we can create any kind of plot so that we can analyze what exactly is going on. Okay, so this is the overall steps that we follow we integrate different data sets. We are going to analyze the data and we'll create the visualization. Now, the next question is why Tableau? Why can't I use anything else? Well, Tableau is one of the tools, like some of the key reasons that we want to use Tableau is because of its rich features. So, it has a lot of features which will enable us to perform the data, to perform the analysis in a much more faster rate. And along with that, it has a lot of flexibility. So when I say flexibility, I can load the data from multiple sources. So these multiple sources can be like can be from my cloud database directly or I can do multiple things guys. So I can load the data from multiple sources and along with that I'll have the intuitive platform. So as we as I'll show you in the hands on session. So the platform is completely intuitive. Now with that intuitive platform you can actually get an overall feel as how easy it is to work with Tableau. So that's the advantage of Tableau guys and the another one is uh, it's interactive visual visuals. So as we would see in our hands on session the visualization when we create it it's very interactive. I mean if, if I suppose if I'm creating the visualization for two columns of data if I want to add a third column it is as easy as drag and drop okay and it, it also has one more important feature that is quick production time so because of all these advantages so Tableau has turned out to be a powerful and a fast growing data visualization tool so one of the main feature when I talk about this Tableau is it actually creates background SQL query called WSQL when I intuitively click any new column in a given data set and drag and drop the elements on the screen. So when I do that, so it seamlessly create this background SQL queries. Okay, 
and it and it is going to integrate with my data which actually is the main reason that we would get the bold beautiful and interactive visualization whenever i'm working with raw data okay so why tableau so here uh, like to give you more information over here tableau is a software company which produces interactive data visualization products which are focused on business intelligence now to help you more and to get even more understanding as why we actually use tableau let's take an analogy so like if you remember like when it comes to traditional photography i'm talking about 10 15 years back we were making use of traditional photography so in case of traditional photography so we used to click pictures so i'll say this is my camera so this camera inside this camera i'll have to add a photo reel uh, negative so i'll i'll be taking the pictures physically and i'll have to store these pictures in a physical image and then i'll have like i'll, I'll be clicking the pictures and then i'll be giving this negatives to my a uh, photographer or someone who's going who is into that business and he is going to physically create those images the reason because it included the cost of film development process as well as storage of these physical images and this has actually affected the way we took the photos so we were not simply clicking the photos just like that so because it involved the cost for taking the pictures development process and even storing as well so we had to carefully plan our photos and sometimes we could be disappointed as well after we collect the photos by understanding as okay this photo didn't turn out well but still we had waited for a week for them once we receive it from the specialist now what happened was like in the world of digital photography so with the help of this digital photography now we don't have to worry too much about the storage and we don't have to worry too much about how the photo is going to come the reason because i'm able to store multiple images in the same small chip and along with that since i'm able to get the get a overall perspective right away as how does my photo would look like this actually removed the risk that it was associated with taking the photos so as a result of this what it actually had become is it actually became a cost free so since it became cost free what i what it actually enabled me is it has enabled me to take multiple photos of the same person or a same portrait and by taking multiple photos this will allow me to improve the quality and when i say tableau so this tableau is a data analysis equivalent to digital photography so the reason that i would say data analysis equivalent to digital photography because here when i'm working with this tableau software i can drag and drop and if i don't like it i can remove that column and i can i can remove that data from the analysis and i can add some beautification and once i add the beautification if i'm satisfied with it i'm going to add it to my dashboard if it's not then i'm going to remove it so this enables me this tableau software enables me to play around with the data in a much more intuitive manner and an easier manner so it since it since it gives me the freedom to play around with the data it gives me a an advantage or an opportunity to perform the data analysis on top of it and these tableau that's this tableau this is a software so this tableau can be used by variety of users guys it's not just limited to end users so it can be the business users non technical audience and even it can be used by technical audience as well if they want to create something and coming to one more advantage so the tableau also gives us the deep computational ability so that i can i can also perform the advanced data analytics which means it will enable me to embed my python machine learning code inside my tableau so that i can perform advanced analytics and as i mentioned earlier it's flexible uh, it can easily work with lot of different data sources and it's very intuitive and the reason that we would say very intuitive because if i show you the overall outlook of tableau this so this is the tableau interface that i have so here the design you could see that it's very intuitive and it has like the uh, like it has all the visualization tools and we have the various icons and buttons which will help me to easier to navigate in this software and also when i'm working with the data it also gives me the ability to drag and drop on the data set 
and once I perform the drag and drop it is going to automatically change the data how my data it would look how the data would look and if I don't like it I can just remove it as well. This is as easy as that. So I can start creating the prototype very fast and once I'm happy with the same I can go ahead and create a dashboard like this so I can create some more dashboard to which will help me to summarize all the data uh, all the learnings that I have had till now by individual column analysis. Okay, so overall I can say that this tableau is great because it will help us to frame a business question and then once we frame the business question it will also help us in answering that business question in a much more easier and an intuitive manner. Okay, and not just that while working with the data I can also get an overall perspective as how the data would look like it will also help me to filter the data if the data is not cleaned and in other words it will it is actually helping me to analyze analyze the data as well as visualizing the data and once I get the better visualization I'll be able to understand the overall story behind the same Let's say once I understand the overall story behind the same I'll be able to take a better business action. So these are the various advantages of tableau and that is the reason it is being used in the business. Okay, so now that you have understood as why we actually require tableau so to in order to learn this software to be able to create the best visualization possible which will enable you to derive the insights in a much more faster way. It's very important that you follow the structured learning. Let me introduce you to the structured learning that we have at Edureka. Now in case you are learning on your own we recommend you to follow the same structured learning path because this structured learning path has been created by industry experts. As a part of your learning journey in the first module you'll learn about how to prepare the data for tableau. Now after that you are going to understand as how you can create a connection with tableau. This is followed by how you can create basic visual analytics and in module 4 You'll be learning how to how you can add the calculations in tableau which will help you to perform the data transformation as well before you create the visualization and how you can perform advanced visual analytics using tableau and which will enable you to uh, understand more in depth and more uh, which will enable you to do more analysis on the data set understand the story behind the data that you're working with and as you progress you are going to learn about level of detail expressions in tableau and then as a part of module 7 you're also going to learn about geographic visualization when it comes to tableau and in module 8 you are going to learn more about the advanced part of tableau like creation of advanced chart and and, and summarizing the data that you have created analysis that you have created and deriving the insights and once you have derived the insight so convey those insights by creating the effective stories as well as dashboard using tableau and at the end it's like by doing an hands on project you'll become an industry ready professional of tableau. So this is how our tableau certification learning journey would look like and you might have observed that at the end of each module there is a hands on session which ensures that the theoretical aspects that you will be learning to work with data you'll see it in action in the hands on session. Okay now that you have understood the importance of tableau and how to learn this tableau. Let's take up an example and let's take up the scenario of data science. So what exactly is this data science and how does this tableau fit in. So talking about data science data science is also called as data driven science. Now here what we are going to do is we'll make use of scientific methods processes and systems to extract the knowledge or insights from the data and this data can be in various forms and the data can be uh, structured structured or it could be in unstructured format as well. Now structured data is something where I can express my given data in the format of rows and columns. So that's the meaning of structured data. Okay, unstructured data is a kind of data where I cannot represent the data in the format of rows and columns. Okay, now the question that usually is asked to data scientists is tell us that we don't know, which means 
tell us something that we don't know which means okay i know the basic basic things or basic definition about the data set tell me something that we don't know means help me to analyze the data and derive the insight from it now in order to perform the analysis on the data we require the skills of programming statistics and business intelligence or the knowledge of business i mean what are the factors that is going to affect my if i'm working in a retail domain what are the factors that would affect uh, my sales in the retail domain and what are the factors that would affect my insurance sales so all these are the uh, these are the three important skills which are necessary for a data scientist programming statistics and knowledge of business and when we talk about this data science so the life cycle of this data science involves these steps so it all starts with understanding the business requirement and this is followed by data acquisition which will help me to understand more in depth about my business requirement so once i've understood the requirement i'm going to collect the data which are relevant to that business requirement and once the once this activity of acquisition is complete we are going to perform the processing on the data set now here in the step of processing i'm going to modify the columns that i have i'm going to remove the missing values if i have and if there are some uh, data formatting issues i'll fix those data formatting issues so we will do all those things in the step of data pre data processing and then we'll explore the data so we'll try to find the relationship between my columns that i have with me now here while performing the data exploration i'll perform both descriptive analytics as well as visual analytics that means i'm going to summarize the data using pandas library for an example and along with that i'll be creating the visualization with the help of tableau or with the help of other python related libraries like seaborn uh, matplotlib and other like plotly so these are the libraries that i'll be using it for performing the data exploration now on this prepared data we'll perform the modeling now this modeling is a step which will help me to establish the relationship relationship between my input and output so once i have established the relationship between my input and output i'm going to test it with the help of the new data or the production data that i might have or the old data and on the basis of testing whether it is matching or not if we are satisfied with the outcome we are going to deploy that model to the cloud okay so these are the common steps that we will be following when it comes to data science and this data science is actually used in various domain to name a few it is used in banking and finance media and entertainment healthcare education government transportation insurance retail so these are just some of the high level domain that we could specify it's now being used in almost in every domain so it is going to help the business in improving their current process it is it will help the business in analyzing uh, what exactly is going on in their current business which will enable them to take a right action to mitigate the risk and increase the revenue so that is the importance of data science okay now as i promised you earlier i'll show you the steps as how you can download the tableau which will enable you to derive the insights from the data so coming to this tableau so tableau uh, there are two versions so one is a free version which is actually called as tableau public and there is one more paid version which is called as an enterprise license okay so this tableau public is a free version of tableau and uh, when it comes to tableau public so the way that you can download is i'll show you the steps so search for tableau public okay so once you open that url this is the page that you are going to get here you will have to mention your email address and click the button which says download the app okay so as the download proceeds so let me give you some of the key features of this tableau public so this tableau public is a free version of this tableau and this has almost the important software features compared to the enterprise level 
so I can create visualization. I can connect to my CSV file Excel file as well as my text file But only thing that you cannot do is you cannot load uh, or you cannot connect to the data which is present in the cloud Okay, and another important thing that you have to remember is you cannot save the workbook in a local that means you cannot save the workbook locally and the another uh, limitation that you will have when you're working with Tableau public is you cannot load more than 15 million rows Okay, and if you save something in Tableau, okay, if you save something in Tableau public So the worksheets these worksheet worksheets are actually stored publicly on Tableau's gallery So if you are using Tableau public on sensitive data, then definitely it's not recommended guys in case if you want to use it for storing your sensitive data and working on your company's data It's always recommended that you buy a professional version and that would actually require a license Now once you have the professional uh, License you can actually create visualization Connect to all the data sources that are available and along with that you can also save your work in locally and and the best part is you can add an unlimited amount of data so the, these are some of the important features and the difference between Tableau public and Tableau professional Okay, and another interesting fact about this Tableau is this Tableau the reason this is famous and why uh, The why we are seeing a demand because this Tableau alone has around 14 to 15 percentage of market share in the business intelligence category so you can see it is being used in almost all the companies. So it is being used in a startup to the fortune 500 company So it is being used by enterprises of various size Hence, it's one of the most popular business intelligence tool among the other tools which you might be seeing Okay, so this is about a tableau guys So I hope it's downloaded and installed and once you download and install So you are going to get a home page that would look like this Okay, now here once you open this tableau desktop over here and Here you have an option to connect to various files that you may have for the demonstration purpose. Let's say I want to Connect to a specific text file. Okay, I'm going to select the text file and here. This is asking me to load a text data So in this scenario, I have lots of text data, which is with me. Let's assume I want to load this us superstore data I'll double click this so this is going to connect my text file to this tableau See it has just loaded this data for me so here it says this is a us superstore data and uh, On the left hand side here. I have various columns that I have over here I have row ID order ID order date ship date customer ID customer name. These are the various column names that I have and on this side I have the information about each and every row that I have with me Okay, so what I have done right now is I have just connected my text file into this tableau and Once I have this uh, Data source ready I can go ahead and start working on my new worksheet So I can say new worksheet and here I can select which is the data source that I want to use Let's say I want to use this us super source data and here if I want to do any visualization I can just go ahead and add the various columns Okay, so uh, Here it says the field added may contain 2051 members. So It is just giving it is it is helping me to Visualize the data guys. So I'm, I've just selected product ID. Let me remove it So I'm going to select a profit Okay and I'm going to select a ship mode shipment mode See I've just dragged and dropped two columns. So for the column wise I've select uh, like uh, For the rows I have selected the profit at least that is what I've selected and for columns I've selected as shipment mode So this ship mode is actually a categorical data. It has four different categories standard second class same day first class and here I have the sum so what it has done is it has given me the visualization as Okay, at least from this visualization. I got to know that I'm able to achieve higher profit 
from the standard class shipment mode or that is what I have achieved from this given data set and you can clearly see that in order to create it I just dragged and dropped no, nothing else. So if I drop any other column, let's say region Okay See this has created another plot for me where a region and like uh, region and sum Okay, so that's how easy it is to create the visualization now from this data. I got to know that Okay, the east and the west are the regions where I'm earning higher profit compared to the other regions Now likewise I can go ahead and start uh, creating the visualizations as well Okay So Likewise, I can I can do one thing I can here. It's it has taken it as some so if I do not want some I can Specify as well. So how I have to do and what exactly is the value that I have to do so I can control uh, What is the measure that I have to do whether it is some whether it is average whether it is count so I can Instead of that I can select what is the measure that I have to do So in this way I can create the various visualization as well and if I want to add any marking over here I can also do the same so all these are the various Advantages that we have when it comes to tableau now here I have other Workbook which I have opened so this is a pre-created workbook and this is on population and birth rate now here to create the visualization I've just taken the representation for log log longitude and longitude and for the adding the markers I have selected the birth rate average population country and average birth rate and I'm able to get the respective visualization over here guys See So and here this is the another visualization where I'm plotting the average health healthcare expenditure average healthcare expenditure per capita per country so this is another visualization now once I have created all these things I'm able to create a dashboard. So this is called as tableau dashboard and We have various functionalities I can just get all the all the analysis that I have done from workbook and I can add it over here So that I can convey the same and the end users who are looking at it So he, he'll, he can just see what exactly is the current trend that is happening in the business? So the person who is at the sales team, he'll get an overall perspective. Okay, what is the which product is the highest selling one? And if he's going to uh, meet someone, he's going to select a particular product which is the highest selling one. So this is how the tableau will be used by the business. Uh, it can be used by everyone in the organization. It can be from business non-technical users to the leadership level as well. Okay, so this is about introduction to tableau and how it can help us in analyzing the data and deriving the information or the insight from the data Thank you so much everyone. It was great to interact with each and every one of you take care